looking at some of the highlights now and you'll be able to see what I mean because some of the Cronulla tries that were scored were very, very easy tries and red. First class performance by Steve Rogers yesterday to come back to form. Nine goals from ten attempts and two tries. Uh, or tally 24 points. That's a huge target, a huge uh, total. And uh, this is the sort of defence you can see players going through groping hands. Nobody really putting anybody on the ground. It was like a game of touch football there for a while. This is the first of the Rogers tries after getting the pass from Beckett, the uh, uh, hooker. But a number of players there involved. Cameron, Pierce, the change of direction, Miller, who's playing in the centres with Steve Rogers, has, uh, was at 5'8 originally, Pierce, not held, and there's Beckett, the hooker, who's a good player in the open and uh, scores the odd good try, as he did against Canterbury the week before, and Rogers using his strength, as well as uh, skill, to get himself over the line, to score the first of his tries, and what a, a goal from the sideline, that is uh, vintage Steve Rogers, that one. Miranda was the goal kicker yesterday for the uh, Darmay inside. He kicked uh, fairly well. I think it was four from seven for him. Here's a try coming up too. An overhead pass that Pierce did his best to drop, but good player that he is, he finally pulled it in. Again, bad defence. The change of direction. You'll notice that Beckett, the hooker, was involved again to Williams on this occasion, the big fellow. And uh, he's done a couple of very clever things of late too. And uh, that was a good try to Miller, with Rogers again converting. I think the experiment to use Percy Knight at halfback in the Belmont side was a failure. Not that Percy Knight's not a good player. Here's that Williams man again onto Malone. That occasion uh, to uh, Miller, I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, that occasion he's in. He scored two tries in the match. Not that Percy Knight is not a good player. I think he's one of the best ball players in uh, Sydney Rugby League. But uh, I think he was badly selected as uh, halfback and uh, it's a bit ironic that Greg Oliphant who was in the side that uh, won the State of Origin match for Queensland the other night can't get in the Belmont first grade so it just seems a bit of an anachronism to me with him playing 5-8 reserve grade according to the program from yesterday now that was a rare sight as I keep saying about Corolla scoring a try but uh, this time last year he had about 16 tries that was only his third for the season. And that, of course, was one of the reasons why Belmont are at the tail end of the table, second last. Some good passing and some good cover defence. Ultimately, as Lavers comes steaming across and uh, gets uh, Mullane over the sideline. Rogers from an ensuing penalty that was involved in that. Another fine goal. You'll notice that three of his goals were directly from the sideline. Hansard is stepping his way right through, and I mean, that really is atrocious defence. Give credit to players when they've got the skills to make these attack, but if you have a look at some of the defence, now watch this one. Watch Burke go through this, look. Now that's Stickney. And Dennis Tutty, the coach of the side, has uh, got more problems than he knows how to handle at the moment. They're not scoring tries and they're not tackling. Look at this Burke straight through. There's obviously some sort of misunderstanding there. They couldn't have been that inept with their defence. The uh, sort of a collision between two defenders perhaps might have made them go in less than with uh, complete intent. Anything that's done on the rugby league field that's done half-heartedly won't work. This was a spectacular try. I want you to watch now. Greg Malone's got the ball now. His brother Mick Malone, watch him. He says, kick, kick, I'll be there. Yeah, well, he is there too, but Steve Rogers gets there before him and scores the try. That was Rogers' second. Clever bit of football. I like to see footballers thinking. And, uh, you know, this is brother to brother. Uh, obviously, footballers and uh, any teammates are virtually like brothers. They get so involved with each other and so involved with the game. But it's good to see him saying, right, there's no defence midfield. Get it in there, brother. I don't know whether he figured that Steve Rogers would be on the end of it. Maybe he saw it as a Malone try. Whichever way you look at it, it was a pretty rousing victory. One nice bit of football from Rod Morris at the end, that one-handed pass onto Lloyd Martin to send his side a little bit uh, closer to the score. That is ball skill, that is good football, that's a beats and special, that sort of thing, around the body of the tackler. They're the sorts of skills that all prop forwards and second row forwards should develop. But it was too little and too late, 33 to 14. Miranda added the extras. A humiliating day for the Belmont Tigers. Not uh, a game that they'll want to remember.